think on the average students might apply 13 to 15 schools. And over the course of the, over time, what may happen is they are not getting interviews from any of the schools. They haven't heard from any, and then they might contact a school that they really want to hear from. But you're right. By the end of the cycle, you know, typically if they haven't had inter any interviews whatsoever, or maybe one and, and, and not an acceptance, then there's, there's, it's time to do a review of, of, of themselves in their application and their where they are with that. And that, that takes time and judgment to recognize that, okay, I'm missing something here. I need to figure out if I want to go to medical school and reapply, I need to figure out why I didn't get an interview or, you know, even though I, I had an interview, I didn't get accepted. And that's, that's a process. And I think for the, the particular school or schools that you're very interested in, you can contact those schools. Now, some may not respond. We do try to give responses, but we don't do it right away because people are just busy. They are trying to enroll a class to begin medical school when we start in August. I'll say this about scores and academics. If you know your academic record is weak, start there and see against that school's website, against MSAR, where are you? So if your MCAT or your GPA or your GPA and MCAT together combined are on the low side and your, your, your transcript you know, has some ups and downs or mainly downs, you might be getting a sense that it was the academics. The other is if you're applying to a research intensive school and you've done no research, that's gonna be quite obvious. And then finally, if schools specifically are looking for something, and I'll use Rush as an example, is that strong commitment to community service and healthcare exposure and you don't have it, well, you have your answer in, in some way. So you really have to look back and be insightful and hold a mirror up and, and review yourself.